In this video I'm going to explain how to burn the clutch on a Honda Blade. Now this is something that's very relevant to new riders because you'll find that the motorbike suddenly fails on you and you'll be calling us calling us up basically saying that the bike's rubbish and it's broken down but actually it's caused by driver error. So I'm going to explain about this and help you avoid having it happen on your holiday which is a bit inconvenient. So the Honda Blade is a semi-automatic, so it's got gears but no clutch. So what does that mean in the real world? It means there's no clutch on your left hand. So just quickly jump over to a, a manual motorbike here. On a manual, you've got a clutch there and that will allow you to uh, engage or disengage the gears. But on the Honda Blade, it doesn't. So this is a cool bike. And I have a video how to drive it, it's very easy. Uh, I'll link it in the top of this video. But basically you can be in any gear at any speed and the bike will move forward. So it drives very much like an automatic. But on top of that, you also have gears. So, quick example. To change gears, gear one, gear two, gear three. I'm in gear three now and I can still drive. So, if you've got no clutch, then how do you burn it? If you half click this, it's the same as half pulling in on a manual motorbike. In other words, you're half engaging the clutch. And this will have basically the discs spinning and they'll wear out. So you'll see I'm now in gear two. The bike moves forward. If I half press this, the bike doesn't move forward, but the clutch is still a little bit engaged. So that will burn it. So basically what happens is people are driving along gear three and gear four and they're resting their foot on here, half engaging the clutch and that causes it to burn. So it's easier to see on a manual motorbike. And I have a full video again linked in and uh, I'll link it at the top on how to try and avoid burning the clutch on a manual motorbike, which is very, very common. But on a manual, down into gear one, as you slowly release the clutch here, the bike will move forward. Now you can have it half in, and a lot of rest. And again, that over a small uh, period of time will burn the clutch. So on the Honda Semi-Automatic, having your foot half pressed on the pedal is exactly the same as having it half in here. The clutch is how, in the end, you learn to ride a motorbike. It's also how you do bike's got a rear brake, how do you do wheelies? You pop the clutch. <laughs> now, not many people know, but you can do the same thing on a Honda Semi-Automatic. If you half press, you'll pop. Exactly the same. Now, Honda Semi-Automatics are actually quite popular for Vietnamese to pull wheelies on, a Honda Dream and things. Everything about your left hand is changing to your left foot, but because of that, yeah, you can burn the clutch on this bike. So if you do burn the clutch on the bike, it's not a big deal. It costs around 1 million dong to fix, which is about $50. All you do is type into Google Honda head, go there and fix it. And then don't do it again. Don't rest your foot on that pedal. But what you must understand is the clutch burning is down to the driver, not the bike. Clutches, simplified, don't suddenly fail. They're either working or they're not working. So what this means is if Tigger gives you a bike that has a bad clutch on it, you might make it 100 kilometers maximum out of our office. You certainly won't go further than that. And very quickly you'll be driving the bike and being like, oh, this bike's got no power. So basically, with no clutch, it'll be like, the engine will rev high, but the bike won't move forward. It'll be like this. And you'll feel that the bike's not right and you might mess us and say the clutch isn't good on this bike. But if you drive a whole day on the bike and the clutch is obviously fine, if that clutch then fails on day two, day five, day 20, that is being caused by the driver. It doesn't gradually fail. It fails because someone's made a mistake. So keep that in mind when, uh, if you do find yourself burning the clutch, uh, try not to point the finger at the company.
just fix it and be on your merry way again and take a lesson from it. Any questions, Sam? Uh, so what should we do if we do burn the clutch and we're on the road? Should we contact Tigit before going to a mechanic? If you do burn a clutch on the road, you usually you can feel it going, right? So when the bike starts to rev high and it's not moving forwards, generally speaking, about 100 kilometers of sort of time before it completely dies and you'll feel it. This is a time you can easily type into Google Maps Honda head. That will get you to a real Honda shop and they will fix it within an hour. It's very quick, one million dong max usually, so sub $50. Um, if you really find yourself in a pinch, you can use any mechanic shop. They'll all have the parts to fix the clutch on this bike, no big deal, but try and get to a Honda shop.